Welcome, welcome, welcome to Transfer Business and News with ordained Crown Prince of Ghana, Nana Poku Hitsfield. It's another lovely Wednesday morning. I love Wednesdays because both my mom and dad were born on Wednesday. So I consider when Wednesday as a day, it's like my Sabbath. It is similar to Friday for me. Now, welcome this morning. Our year of grace, of course, our year of power and our year of abundance. Now, last Monday, watch that video from last Monday and you will know whatever I said there. I don't want to repeat it. But today I want to talk about Manchester United. And of course, the Premier League started on Saturday. Now, the performance wasn't the performance Manchester United fans around the globe were expecting from Manchester United. The midfield was literally or virtually non-existent in that game. Mason Mount, Bruno Fernandes, Casemiro, it was like, no, 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 there is something missing. It was like something was missing. It was, it was like the pivot that would make them click was missing. And we were like, is it the, the, the change in shape, right? And Marcus Rashford playing up front, won't be that pressing monster you want him to be, you know. And Ganacho come on in the last 15 minutes and 25 minutes to build up his fitness because starting a game, he didn't do enough. Although Nelson Semedo is a good, good, good player. I thought we wanted to see more from Alejandro Ganacho in the game against Wolves. Now, we came out, out of that game, of course, with a win. We came out of that game with a win and... Rafael Varane getting the most crucial goal at Old Trafford. But then, these are five things we need to change going forward because this Saturday we'll be playing against Tottenham Hospice at their London Stadium, right? The Tottenham Hospice Stadium. And it's not going to be an easy game. Of course, Harry Kane has left for Bayern Munich. But then, Son, I don't know whether Son is the new captain because I saw him um, with the armband in the game against um oh somebody sent me if you want to join their live i want moderators for my i don't know i don't know how to do these things because i'm Charlie. it's my brother so i can't be doing these things if if you can be a moderator for me and sometimes let's handle the tiktok invite people and all these things send me an email at ranwrinkle at gmail okay. but okay let's talk about the game against wolves now of course, there was that incident in the end with Andre Onana clattering Kalazic or Kazalic or whatever he's called, man. And it looked like a penalty. And my heart went up like this when I saw the referee going to, <laughs> to the touchline. I thought, oh, come on, this is VAR. He's going to check, not knowing he was going to book. <laughs> Um, the, the, the Wolves manager, and it was a penalty to be, to be honest, it was a penalty. Um, but you know, his momentum went into him. He didn't get the ball. You know, he clattered into another player. So I think it was a penalty, but it was a decent start from Andre Onana. Now, speaking about Onana, we'll talk about an, another Onana that is probably linked to Manchester United. And of course, as I said, in the game against Spurs, let, let me pick players. Let me pick players. Now, Mason Mount was brought in to play as two number eights with Bruno Fernandes. And we saw this in preseason that it was like the cohesion wasn't there. But we thought it was preseason, but it has continued into the season. Now, in the game against Wolves, you could realize Casemiro was left alone. And this is not a Casemiro of Real Madrid or 25 years. This is an older version of Casemiro. To leave that space for Casemiro to work in. And meanwhile, they were not efficient up front too. When you look at the game, I could, you could hardly remember a time you saw Messi Mount on the ball playing one-twos, combining, playing two passes. Similar with Bruno. You know, Aaron Wan-Bissaka got that as his ah, spider. Charlie, much love to Aaron Wan-Bissaka, man. Wan-Bissaka, I said, people, people think Wan-Bissaka is a bad player, but then he has proven, right? He is good defensively, and now he plays 
You see him playing one twos with Anthony and keeping the ball. He doesn't lose the ball that much, right? And Anthony needs to do a lot this season. Anthony needs to always be at the end, edge of the box. That is where he can be useful. If you find Anthony on the, come on, on the wing, what are you doing there? And it's like his crosses don't get to his intended targets all the time. So be closer to the box. That is where you can play your one-twos. You can play your true pass, like the true pass he gave to Casemiro last season, right? And I think in the game against Arsenal, was it Arsenal? The game that Rashford in preseason, he scored. You see that pass from Anthony? The, the play, come closer to the penalty box. Because I watched the game and I was like, what is happening? I, I couldn't see any patterns of playing. Right? Last season, it was better. But then, this season, I was expecting more. And as maybe it is just the beginning of the season, people are rusty, especially Marcus Rashford. He's not looking like the Marcus Rashford we know. Luke Shaw is not looking like the Luke Shaw we need to know. Now, aha, one thing, one more thing I noticed and it pisses me off. And I think it may piss so many Manchester United fans off is that. When the ball gets to the byline, how can you work a ball from defense and get to the byline without putting the ball in the penalty box? Now, you will see Manchester United play and the ball will get to the byline instead of our fullbacks to cross the ball. They will pass the ball backwards and before you realize, the ball is back with Onana. And I'm like, why did we spend all that energy coming forward? Put the ball in the box. Having to head of own goals. Like, come on. It's like <laughs> you having to head of own goals. And one thing I've realized is we 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 let the opposition sit and face um, our goal before we try doing things. When they are facing their goal, when they are running backwards, that is where you need to cross the ball. Because they are not settled. Somebody may clear, it may be a half def, um half. Uh, decent clearing our number eight can pick up on the second boss but then you see all the time we get to the byline i'm like cross the ball i wish we had somebody like um trippia or lucas Dina of everton somebody who crosses the ball like that look sure needs to put the ball in the box the most important thing in the game is scoring the goal don't send the ball to the bar line and, and pass the ball backwards before we realize it's back with Onana. I'm like, come on, put the ball in the box. We have Hoyland now, six foot two. Put the ball in the box. Let him run onto something. Let him attack something. Give him a job to do. Because I don't know what the essence of um, Hoyland will be if we will get the ball close to the corner flag instead of putting the ball in the box, we then pass the ball backwards and before you realize it's back with Onana when Manchester United is still 0-0. Zero, zero. Put the ball in the box. You have two number eight. Screening um, outside the 18-yard line, right? Put the ball in the box. Come on. Come on. When I see that, I'm like, ah, what a game. And it's not like it is once in a while. We go there and we come back. I'm like, they are facing us. They will see whatever you are doing. When they have to, when the opposition defense is running towards its goal, that is the be best time to put in crosses because they are running towards their goal. Somebody may try clearing before you realize it's an own goal or something. But then Man United will never put the ball in. Luxor will get the ball close to the corner flag. I'm like, cross the ball. Put the ball in the box. Put it in an area for the attackers to have something to feed on. Then they'll pass the, pass the ball backwards. Sometimes the ball will be passed backwards. Then it will be intercepted and it's a counter-attacker against United. And I'm like, wow. So we need to do better on Saturday against Hospers. As I said, this is not a Hospers we know. We can go there and stamp on their stupid face. Chaka, 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 chaka. Now, the stupid face I, I use there is not in reference to Hospice fans. It's, it's, what is the name of this cartoon? Gru, right? He said, I will moonwalk over your stupid face. Chaka, chaka, chaka. You know, 
if you have kids around you all the time, <laughs> definitely you will watch a lot of cartoons, man. Sometimes if I'm not watching football, then I need to watch cartoons because I'll be dragged in, into watching cartoons, right? So I know some cartoons. And I, I, I think we should go to hospice with confidence. Macy Mount and Bruno Fernandez be closer to Casimiro. Don't leave him alone in the midfield. Look at what Cunha did. He was running like Wolves could have won this game 3-0 and it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been a surprise because they dominated us, right? They dominated Manchester United. And we were lucky to come away with an all-decisive goal by my man, Rafael Varane. Much love to my brother, Rafael Varane. Much love to every African, every black man across the world. This is our time. This is our year of grace. This is our year of power. This is our year of abundance. Now, let's talk a bit transfer news. And as I said, Amadou Onana of, of Everton looks very, very attractive. But I want Amrabat too. I want Sofian Ab Amrabat because maybe when you put Amrabat in the Casemiro role, he may do the job Eric Ten Hag wants better. Because you could see in the game, around 50th mark, Casemiro was tiring. You could see it. And I was looking at him and I'm like, we need reinforcement. And Onana would be a good addition because of his physicality. All action. Sometimes when you are playing at, at, at Anfield, when you are playing at the Etihad, look at Rodri. Look at the size of Rodri. Rodri is quick. He is stronger. Come on. Rodri. <laughs> no wonder they want the treble. It is there for you to see him in the pivot. So we need reinforcement at Manchester United. And Amrabat is a must. Onana, if we get Onana, not Andre Onana. Of course, we have Andre Onana already. I'm talking about Amadou Onana. All action, box to box. The Thomas Suchek type of, type of player. 